Hi everyone, so this time on tools we're looking at what a radian is. So you might have heard of a radian before. Um, so this is in the sectors section. So we're going to look at arc length, area of a sector, um, and radians. Now what is a radian? Radian, a radian is just another measure of um, an of an increment of an angle. So, as we know, there are 360 degrees within a circle. Why are there 360 degrees, by the way? Why aren't there? Why isn't a circle split into 200 bits? Why isn't it split into 100 bits, or 10 bits, or 5 bits? Why is it 360? Well, it's because originally, back in the Egyptians. Um, the ancient Egyptians started measuring this stuff out. They used to think there were 360 days, and every change uh, they would mark the sun and e monitor every incremental change within the sun until it would reach full circle. And they counted 360 of those, and therefore that's where kind of our degree, um, our degree use of measuring angles came into existence. But there are loads of other different ways that you could imagine splitting a circle up and one of them is perhaps more intuitive even and that's called splitting it into radians so what is a radian well a radian is the angle that occurs when if this is your radius here when you've got a sector with arc length r okay so it's the angle where the radius and the arc length are the same length. Now, when does that happen? Well, let's think about it. If your circumference is 2 pi r in length, okay, and this corresponds to 360 degrees, right? Then that means for every one unit, so every one unit of measure um, along your circle, let's say if it was centimeters or meters or whatever, so one unit. This is a ratio, isn't it? So there are, your length is 2 pi r for every 360 degrees. So for every one unit, it's 360 over 2 pi r, isn't it? Okay. So this is your current arc length which is the whole circumference if your arc length was just one unit so that was your sector here okay the number of degrees that you would have for that is 360 divided by 2 pi r but if I want the arc length to be r this magic sector here then of course if I times the left by r, I need to times the right by r. So this is 200, uh, 360 over 2 pi, and the r on the bottom would cancel, you see? So, what is 360 degrees over 2 pi? Well, if you type that in your calculator, 360 divided by 2 pi, 57, so this is approximately equal to 57.2, uh, 9, 5, etc. degrees. Okay, so 57.3 degrees roughly is one radian. So what is one radian? It's denoted by a C like that. So, you know, degrees is with a, a circle, but a C is a radian. So one radian is approximately 57.3 degrees. And this occurs when the radius and the arc length are the same length, okay? How many radians are there within a circle? Well, let's think about it. If a circumference is made up of two pi lots of the radius, this is my radius here. So, think about it. The circumference is made up of two pi lots of r. So, this is, this is an r, isn't it? So, two pi lots of r. So 2 pi is 6 point something, isn't it? So 2 times 3.14 is 6.28 lots. So this is 1R, 2R. So already I've got 3Rs. 4, 5, 
six, a bit of artistic license, and 0.2 lots of an R, right? So 0.28 lots of R, etc. So you can see how the circle is divided into sections, right? Into slices like that. Right, so how many radians are there within a circle? Well, if one radian occurs when the radius and the arc length are the same length, then these must all be one radians, mustn't they? One radian, one radian, one radian. And then you've got a, that small slice of a radian as well. So if, if one R gives one radian, then 0.28 R gives 0.28 radians. So you can see that there are two pi radians within a circle. Okay, so there are two pi radians, which is proportional to 360 degrees. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So if we add this on here, two pi radians is the same as 360 degrees. Okay. Or, well, we should keep it as a ratio, really. So 2 pi radians is the same measure as 360 degrees. Therefore, you can say um, that pi radians must be the equivalent of 180 degrees. Do you see the conversion? Or 1 radian is the same as 360 over... Um, sorry, uh, it's the same as 180 over pi, isn't it? 180 over pi, lots of degrees. So we can start converting stuff quite easily, can't you? So if we want to convert um, what's 30 degrees in terms of radians, well, 30 degrees, if we want to go to degrees then, we know that pi radians is 180 degrees, so therefore pi over 180 is the same as 1 degree. Do you see? There's your conversion. So 1 radian is 180 over pi, and 1 degree is pi over 180. Do you see? So, 30 degrees then, move this over here, 30 degrees has to be the same as 30 pi over 180, which gives you 30 pi over 180, so pi by 6, which is what that out already. So that's pi by 6 radians, right? So 30 degrees is the same as pi by 6 radians. Uh, if I had 90 degrees, what's 90 degrees the same as? Well, that's the same as 90 pi over 180, which is pi by 2 radians. Yeah. Uh, what's pi by 4 radians the same as? Well, like we know, we know to convert from radians to degrees is the same as pi by 4 well, not pi by 4 if we want if we want pi by 4 radians in terms of degrees and we know that pi is the same as 180 degrees so this must be the same as 180 over 4 do you see which is the same as 45 degrees so you can convert Really, the most useful ones is this formula here, and for your same as your degrees, you know this one here. So the conversion rate is really easy if you go from that. Okay. Now from here, you can generate some formulas. So, what is the um, what? How can we use radians to simplify our length of an arc let's say so let's say this is the length l that we're looking for we know that there are two pi radians within any circle and we know that the circumference the circumference is 2 pi r don't we 2 pi is the number of radians in a circle yeah so if we wanted to find um, the length of, say, the semicircle. So let's say I cut this here, and I want to find the length of the semicircle here. Let's call this S. I don't know. Let's call this S here. This length is going to be half the circumference, isn't it? So it's going to be pi r. 
right? Or this one here is going to be... Okay, so if we were quartering it then, if we were dividing it into quarter, it would be divided by 4, wouldn't it? So we'd have pi by 2r. Did you see? So, <coughs> because we're dividing the whole thing by 4. So your arc length is actually, your formula is r theta, where r is number of radians, okay? So dead easy now. If you want to describe the arc length, r theta, where theta is in radians. Similarly, we know the area of a sector. So the area of a um, circle is pi r squared, isn't it? But I could rewrite that as a half, 2 pi, lots of r squared. Do you see that little trick? And this, again, is number of radians. So this is half r squared theta, where theta is number of radians. All right? So now you can find the area of a sector. So area of a sector, and this one is arc length. OK? And we are all good. So an example of using this. We know that this is 30 degrees. If we're trying to find that length x, and let's say the area as well, we can convert that quite easily because we know 180 degrees is pi radians. So therefore, if we divide everything by 6, 180 degrees divided by 6 is the same as 30 degrees, which is the same as pi by 6. So therefore, the arc length, our x that we're looking for, is r theta. So L is r theta. So r is 5, theta is pi by 6, so x is 5 pi by 6. Done. Area of the sector, half r squared. So I quote the formula, half r squared theta, half r squared 5 squared theta is pi by 6. So this is 25 pi by 12. Do you see? Nice and easy. Here, Radians are given as 2, so if I want to find the radius this time, arc length, remember, is r theta. The arc length, they told us, is 10. Theta is 2. x is the radius I'm looking for, so x would be 5. And the area, half r squared theta again, so the area, half r squared, which is x squared, theta is 2. And we know that x squared is 25, so your area is 25 unit squared. Do you see? Really nice and easy. There we go. We're done.